All right, so these next two videos are actually going to be a lot of fun for anybody who's ever tried e-commerce before. Um, I've had to do e-commerce several times, and if you're using a e-commerce platform, usually they're this bulky PHP annoying thing uh, that's just annoying. Like when people ask me to, hey, will you develop e-commerce for me? I usually grimace and just, I don't want to do it because it's one of the less fun things that you do as a developer. Um, however, this company recently reached out and said, hey, would you be interested in looking at our product and featuring it? And I said, well, I've got to like the product, any product before I tell people about it. Uh, but let me take a look at it. Um, and honestly, I fell in love with it. I'm pretty much going to be using this for e-commerce stuff in the future because it's so easy and so cool. Uh, so I wrote him back a little while later and said, yes, I'm definitely going to do a video on this. And so what Molten, the company Molten has done is they've taken the whole big platform out of it. They said, we're not going to provide you a platform. We're going to give you APIs that connect to the admin tool that all your support staff uses to enter products and update prices and blah, blah, blah. And then you get to build it in anything you want. So for JavaScript users, you can build it in Angular or Ember or whatever. For PHP users, you can build it in any framework you want. Yes, anybody that's done e-commerce before is already really excited. So I'm going to show you the API real quick. And then in the next video, we're going to build an Angular app. And we're going to build out almost the entire store in just minutes. So let's real quick look at Molten, what it is, what it does. Basically, you create a free tier account. Their free tier gives you like 30,000 API requests a month, I believe. It's quite a bit. Um, and so you create a new store. It takes like two questions and you have a store. And as a developer, that's about all you have to do. You can access your API keys right here um, for that store. And then you can also add admins, administrators uh, to the store that can log into the dashboard. Uh, let me show you the dashboard real quick. Uh, the dashboard is what all your support staff will use. Or if you're a small company, you'll use it. Uh, but it's a great separation of concerns because developers don't need to worry, shouldn't have to worry about orders, inventory, shipping, any of that junk. Uh, and so it's a really clean, slick inventory management tool. I went ahead and added three products, took no time at all. And so we're going to use APIs from here on out to access the store and start building our store any way we want to. Um, and so let's look, since we're going to be doing Angular, let's look at the JavaScript API. I won't really touch the PHP API, although it's pretty much just as simple. So let me go ahead. I have this localhost file spun up over here. And here's my basic HTML file. Now to start off with Molten, you're going to copy that API key. And you need to load in their SDK right here, which they have all this in their docs. They do have really good docs, especially for a new company. They have really good docs. So you create your new Molten object, and then you do a Molten.authenticate. Um, and then that's just going to give you a callback function when it's authenticated, when it's connected to your store. Um, and so from there on out, you can make API calls. And they're very straightforward. You can go molten.category.list. Category.list. And I'm not going to pass it any filters of any kind. And so let's just console log categories. Whoops, I want to console log that. Man, I can't. okay, there we go. So I'm just going to console log categories after I get them. Let's let live reload pick that up. And there we go. I've got my one category, which is the default uncategorized category. Uh, it's got my description. It's got my ID. So let's go ahead and now get all the products that are in that category. I'm going to snatch that ID out so I can go molten product dot list. Uh, and I can search category is that ID right there. And the ID does have to be a string. It cannot be a number. And products. So there we go. That's going to call back. And let's just console log products. There we go. I've got my three products right there. Super easy, simple to do. Let's snatch a product ID. Um, and let's just do a product get. Let's get this ID. I think that's all I have to do, if I recall correctly. All their APIs are named correctly. They really make sense, which is nice. So, yep, there's my product. There's my pricing. Um, it's got both formatted pricing with tax, without tax, which is really cool. Um, 
raw stuff. Um, you've also got APIs to create a customer, customer logins. So yes, you don't have to manage customers. Um, and then that way they can add in all their information. Basically anything you'd get in a full featured shopping cart, you can do via simple APIs. Um, let's go ahead and I have that product number right there and now I can add it to my cart. Cart insert that. The second param is how many you want. I want to add three of that to my cart. There's some third param that's always got to be null. I'm not quite sure what that's for. Maybe it's for something in the future, but for now that has to be in there. Um, so we're adding that product three times and I will return a cart. So let's go ahead and add that product. I have already added it before, so I should see a lot more than three in there. Yeah, I see uh, the price is $10.99 and I've got 10 of them in there right now. So uh, there we go. And that's going to show me kind of my totals formatted. Here's where my cart's sitting right now. Um, and that's basically the JavaScript API. Super easy. I'm not going to bore you with every API call you can do. Let's get into the fun stuff. In the next video, we're going to do Angular, and we're going to use the Yeoman Angular Generator, which I've been wanting to do for a while anyway, because it really speeds up your Angular development. Um, you basically don't have to do any boilerplate. And we're going to build out a shopping cart all the way up to checkout in a matter of minutes. So let's go ahead and cover that video.